holding the powerful accountable. Governor, did the DEP keep you in the dark? Is the state attorney's office going to enforce the law? And getting results. Steve Andrews is Target 8. She sat in the Polk County Jail for 14 months, forgotten. Then 8 on your side started asking questions. Now she's getting some of the help she needs. The question remains, though, how did a mentally incompetent woman get lost in jail for more than a year? Where did the system break down? There are still not a lot of answers, but we do know once senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews got involved, this eight on your side investigation got some results. Yes, and, and it shouldn't have to come to this, you know? It, it just absolutely shouldn't. Octavia Jordan's family contends our criminal justice system is broken. How else, they ask, do you explain this forgotten woman? Octavia Jordan is finally in a mental health facility getting the help she needs. Octavia spent the last 14 months in the Polk County Jail forgotten. No one's speaking for them. The, the, their voice is lost. Jailed on a violation of probation charge, Judge Kelly Butts determined Octavia mentally incompetent. In April 2017, she ordered the Department of Children and Families place her in a mental health care facility. DCF claims it received no notification. Polk Clerk of the Court Stacy Butterfield's office is responsible for sending that notification to DCF Tallahassee. How unlikely would that be for your office not to do that? I'd say that'd be pretty unlikely if you look at all the hundreds of others that have come before. Despite DCF's claim it was not notified, this document shows copies of Judge Butts's order were furnished to four DCF employees. But Octavia went nowhere. Somebody should be held responsible. Overlooked by the court, DCF, even the public defender's office, which finally discovered the mistake in late May. But the call that I got on, on that 14th month of telling me that we forgot about her, that's like, you know, she means nothing. Certainly as her legal representative, um, I take responsibility for her not having been transported and received the care that she deserves. Um, no one's called to say, you know, we're sorry, we dropped the ball. The mistake discovered and exposed. Her sister is grateful Octavia became a priority and is now getting the help she needs. When I reached out to Aid on Your Side, you fixed it for me just by bringing it out. Lots of questions still unanswered here. Diane Jenkins wonders why the jail didn't ask about Octavia sitting around for 14 months. And with all these copies that supposedly went out of that order, how did DCF not know about Octavia? I still have some digging to do on no this doubt. one, I confess, but wow. But she made it clear that when you got involved, things changed, yeah. which means she was asking about this delay for a while now, yeah, the family was. That's a good question. Where was the family on this? You know, Diane told me she went to the jail almost every week. When she asked about the delay, she claimed she was told, this is normal. This is how the state works. Truly, I hope that this is, this not, is not the yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. That can't be true. So yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. All thank right, you, thank Steve. you, sure. Steve. If you have a problem that you want Steve to investigate, call our Target 8 helpline at 1-800-338-0808.